Conflictul din Ucraina continuă să se intensifice astfel că numărul refugiaților care ajung în România continuă să crească, a declarat ministrul de externe într-un interviu acordat postului de televiziune CNN. Bogdan Aurescu a mai precizat că au fost luate deja o serie de măsuri de integrare a cetățenilor ucraineni în țara noastră. So more than 300,000 Ukrainian citizens have crossed to Romania, either through the Romanian-Ukrainian border or through the Republic of uh, Moldova. And mm -hmm. um, as we speak, uh, more than 83,000 uh, of them have stayed in Romania. They are staying now in, in our uh, country. Um, and um, uh, we are now trying to help also um, uh, our neighbor, the Republic of Moldova, which is a very small country and with a very limited capacity to deal with uh, such a burden. Bogdan Aurescu a mai vorbit la CNN și despre faptul că țara noastră a luat măsuri pentru a le asigura condiții bune refugiaților ucraineni. We have already taken a lot of uh, domestic measures and we are preparing uh, uh, for um, uh, arranging uh, school, uh, schools for, uh, for children. Uh, we have already provided uh, uh, free uh, uh, well, uh, medical assistance for, um, uh -huh. uh, for all uh, who are staying in, uh, in Romania. We are trying to facilitate their integration into the, um, uh, into the uh, job market. Uh, uh -huh. So we are trying to do our best to create the best conditions for them, for those who are staying. Referitor la zona de interdicție aeriană deasupra Ucrainei și deasupra coridoarelor umanitare, Bogdan Aurescu a spus că NATO nu poate interveni mai mult decât a făcut-o până acum. We have discussed this matter uh, during the NATO foreign ministerial meeting on Friday in Brussels. And I have taken part in that meeting. And um, as Secretary General of NATO, Mr. Stoltenberg, uh, stated after the meeting, unfortunately, uh, we cannot enforce such a no-fly zone over Ukraine airspace because uh, if we do so, that would mean, as you said earlier uh, in a conversation uh, with one of, of your guests, uh, well, this would mean that NATO might get into direct conflict with uh, uh, Russia. And since Ukraine is not a, m a member state of, uh, of NATO, NATO cannot do that, cannot enforce that.